Hey guys, Lewis Cahill here for Gink and Gasoline. I'm at my favorite place in the world to fish, the Andres South Bonefish Lodge in South Andres, Bahamas. It's November 2012, and I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you guys how I care for my camera when I'm working in saltwater conditions. Let's start by showing you a few simple things that I carry in my camera cleaning kit. Lens cleaning fluid, which is important, and a nice soft lens cleaning cloth. I like this one because it has its own stow pouch that keeps it nice and clean. You don't want grit and dirt getting on that. A little bulb duster, which is really handy. You can't travel with canned air. And this is also uh, safer for cleaning the inside of the camera. A little bit of regular rubbing alcohol, which I've put on a smaller bottle for travel. And some nice round cotton swabs. That's all you need. We're gonna start by cleaning the lens. I'll remove the lens hood and the lens cap. And the first thing I'll do is to dust the lens with my bulb duster. This is an important step because if there's a grain of sand or something, a little piece of grit on that lens and you start scrubbing around, you're gonna cause scratches and that's bad. Next thing I'll do is I'll get my lens cloth and I'll take a little bit of my lens cleaning fluid and spray it on the cloth, get the cloth wet and nice and soaked down. Then I'll just use a little bit of light pressure to go around the lens element and just around the outside of the lens element here get all that nice and wet then i'll move to a dry part of the cloth and buff it off so that i don't get any streaks and there you go the lens is nice and clean i'll put the cap back on to keep it that way the next thing i'm going to do is get a cotton swab and i'm going to wet this down with alcohol and i'm fairly generous with the alcohol it's not going to hurt your camera and it evaporates pretty quickly and i'll wipe down all of the surfaces I can get to, starting with the lens and then moving to the body. You want to try to get into all the metal parts particularly, but the plastic as well. Everything needs to get that salt removed from it. It's important to keep all that stuff off because once that gets in and the corrosion starts, one thing leads to another and the next thing you know there's all this white foam seeping out of the edges and things are getting ugly. You don't want that. So clean every surface you can get to. I'm moving pretty quickly with this um, just for the video, but it's important to be diligent about it. The next thing I will do is pop the battery out. This is an important place to clean and a lot of people forget about it. I'll get a fresh cotton swab and juice it up with alcohol. And I'm gonna reach my fingers up inside that battery slot as far as I can and get all the contacts that connect to the battery. That's an easy place for corrosion to start. And you can think your camera has died and take it into the shop and spend a bunch of money to have it fixed when nothing's wrong with it. And I'm cleaning the battery terminals as well. I'll pop that back in there. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is remove the lens and clean under the lens barrel. Just snap your lens off and for the second we'll set the body aside. The first thing I'll do is clean the back element of the lens the same way I cleaned the front. A little bit of lens fluid. The back element's small. It only takes a second and you want to make sure and get all of the metal parts around it clean as well and then buff it with a drop. All right, now that the glass is clean, I'll get another cotton swab and I'm going to clean around the lens barrel all the electrical contacts and the parts of the bayonet mount that are metal need to be cleaned really thoroughly. Those electrical contacts are very important to the operation of the camera and you want to keep them nice and clean. So there you go. And I'll finish with just hitting that with a bulb duster to make sure that I haven't got any cotton fibers from the pad. It's really important um, when you're cleaning this part of the camera to be sure that nothing stays inside the camera body or on the back of the lens because that can end up on your sensor and that's bad news because then you've got to clean the sensor. All of these parts around um, the lens mount and all the places under the lens where you couldn't get when the lens was on need to be cleaned. I am not going to recommend that you do a lot of poking around in your mirror or get into cleaning your sensor at this point. Um, that's a little more advanced technique and maybe we'll talk about that in another video. But for now let's just clean the connections and the mounts. There we go. There's an indexing ring here that works your aperture and it's really important to make sure that you get some fluid down in there and get that clean because that is one of the first places that corrosion will start. And I will frequently use 
a little bit, the tiniest little bit of three-in-one oil in there when I get home, just to make sure that that stays nice and free. When I do that, I make sure my body cap is on so that I don't get any oil inside the uh, camera body. That's important. And then we'll finish off by hitting all of this with the bulb duster. Really good to make sure there's nothing left in there. And the back of the lens as well. And once I'm satisfied that that's all clean, I'll snap it back together. Now everything should stay nice and clean in there. There's one more place that's easy to forget here, um, and that is if you have a pop-up flash, there's space under that pop-up flash that needs to be cleaned as well. Any little interior space like that that you can find, you need to get to and get the salt off of it. So there we go. I also like to take a minute at this point, and just like I would clean my lens with my lens cleaning fluid, I will clean the back side of my viewfinder. It's got a little rubber cup over it. Most of those pop right off, make it easy to get to. So I can get that cloth down in there and scrub it up and scrub all behind that little plastic piece. And there you go. Now I feel pretty confident that I've gotten the salt off of my camera and it's gonna be good for another day of shooting. So get out there and take some great saltwater fishing photos. And don't be afraid to take your camera on the boat. Just take care of it when you get home. It takes about five minutes to go through a good camera cleaning, and I recommend you do it every night when you get in off the boat. I also recommend that you do it before you hit the tiki bar. I find that that's a big help. When you get home, give your camera a good thorough cleaning and make sure that everything is good from the salt, and it'll keep you running good and clean for years to come. So good luck with your photography, good luck with your fishing. Get down here to the Bahamas and catch some bonefish. And for more information on fly fishing and more information on fly fishing photography, check us out at ginkandgasoline.com. Thanks.